Right, so we're going to chill out here on the farm. We've got a big ass cedar. Which is the Amazon Condor 1501. It's a big girl. It's my favorite one in the game. And it's definitely the handiest. The only thing is this map is not designed for big ass machinery like this. So I'm going to go up the top yard here and store it. Just because it's so freaking big. You don't, you don't need something this big on, on farm. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Nice space there for it. So. I don't know, maybe I'll open this gate. Think so big it's impossible to reverse but well, it's not impossible but it's it's it is definitely difficult especially being on a 360 degree lighting on your fence or your what's it called our um vulture this is my cow edition <laughs> it's cool isn't it Keep that gate shut. Right, so that's that done. I know we have pallets over in the cow field. This is ridiculous, the lack of light in this yard. Um, Right, so I know we have pallets. Look over in the little deer. And leave that. I want to get the pallet forks over the far side. And pick up the pallets that we have left over. In the field here that was delivered to us. The delivery guy left him in the field because he couldn't turn his truck. So, fair enough. What if the moo moos are asleep, are they? Oh, they all seem to be out and about. Right, so we're going on our little deer. This is our deer 2032. It's a little compact tractor that came available online there so I said I'd uh, I said I'd get it sorry with the phone ringing there guys that completely unexpected this I'll never get used to. I gotta use third person for this there's one pallet yeah so the delivery guy wouldn't deliver them right alongside where I needed them so I had to um had to pretty much tell them you know you're gonna have to turn somewhere so I go into the cow field right there and you know you did it worked out just storing these guys would be the next thing let me see yeah I suppose in here would be fine again I'm no good at first person with loading and unloading stuff I think if I leave the boom and the forks at that height, they should be able to swoop in under another one. Decent. Haha. <laughs> nice one. Okay, so that's, that works. Cows are frozen. Where does that look? That's not too shabby. Okay, can live with that. 
Just gotta get back out of here. Just pretty much take these pallets out of the field and then that should do me. I can't really make full episodes yet because I'm still fiddling around with the audio of this game and the OBS because I'm not used to it. I've never in my life recorded anything on OBS so I'm not used to it. So I'm kind of... Not going to lie to you, I haven't a clue how to take the audio and get it right on the OBS. I'm using a headset as a mic because I haven't gone out and bought a proper mic and I don't know what the best mic to buy is either. I know Rode are a great mic. I've used them when I was making the videos. Yeah, that works out. That's pretty neat. That that is that is good going. Super happy with that. The lighting is so bad in this game at night, though. Have I any external lights on the farm? No, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go and do it because I want them. I'm going to get some auxiliary lighting for the farm. Vineyard, I forgot I installed them. Decoration, maybe? Yep. Okay, here we go. These are freaking huge, though. The problem is it's so bloody dark, I can't even see where I am. Nah, in fact, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the trailers with the lights on them because... I know I can use it somewhere else. No. Beacon light. Yeah, that'll do. Buy four of these because we're going to need them. Because this is a holy disgrace that a map. Gonna need something a little larger just to pull them around. Teleporter, no. Truck, no. Use my cow edition. S734. To pull those lights around. Because at least they'd be level when we set them up. This is a really cool mod as well because you can adjust all the actual lights themselves. Got a help window up there and see what we're looking at. Okay, so she seems to be set up. How do we. Oh god, that's blinding. Best go outside for this. We have one there. See the way we can move them individually? We have one there, and we have one here. But I can't seem to lift it. I can't seem to make it go up. It doesn't work. It's one of these freaking things. I don't know how to make the... I used the controller to try and make it lift, but it won't lift up. I 
That's a turnip, that's fine. No, you can't lift it. Look, the option is there. Right stick, up and down. But all she's giving me is those stupid little options there, just behind the right hand wheel of the truck. Right hand wheel of the, sorry, the, um, the deer. Oh, hold on, was that it? They'll turn 360 degrees, which is fantastic. But they won't. They won't turn again. This is a stupid ass mod, it doesn't work. It's a cool mod, but it just doesn't work. I mean, I want to unfold. I want to make it extend so I can see my scene. They're like scene lights, basically. But they're fucking useless. Excuse my French. Yeah, sell them. Absolutely useless fucking things. Again, please excuse me, but that, that, that just drives me mad. Um, but, in saying that, there is a non-modded version. Which is like your simple other one. So this is the one we got, which is crap. This is the one that is better. So we're going to go back into the field and take that one out. Because that this one actually all you do is unfold it, lights up and that's it. It's good to go. The other one's shit. It just, it just won't work with... You need a. I have a game and mouse. I have everything I need. It just doesn't work. So if that's the way you want to play it. I'll not be using it. Simple as that. Mods annoy me a lot of the time, and half of them don't install. But that's I know. That's my own human error. It's nothing to do with the creator. Cre whoever created that mod is top class. But I just can't get it working. That's the reality of it. All right. See, that's what I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. Oh god. Got lucky there. Okay, we're gonna put another one up by the cow shed. And one along the main um, area of the farm. We're losing a lot of frames with that light, by the way. place another one here and then one more at the bottom here to cover our whole hallway in and out also, there are good security um, as well. Good security feature is to have lighting on your farm because you wouldn't know who might be floating around at night wanting to borrow things, we'll say. Okay, so that's covering me up as far as here. 
but I need one, as I said, just a minute ago to get... Can I get in there? Cool if I could get a trigger to open that gate, but it's not going to happen. So I'm just going to put this... Not there, anyway. I know what I'll do. I'll reverse it alongside that. Just in that little wall gap there. That way it's in out of the way so I can get some of my machinery past. Yeah, that'll do it. Ram it in there, it'll do it. Or serious light out of these. Like serious, serious light out of these. But that's what we want. Alright, so that's our arse covered now. We can get back to what we were doing. Alright, let's get back to where we were. <clears throat> Oh, I got this really cool mod, by the way, the other day. It's a lawnmower. It's a Case IH International. And it is fabulous. Look at that. It is the coolest looking mod going. Just a great lawnmower. Great detail. Whatever else. Got a PTO right there. Even got its own hitch. Grass collector. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, let's go get back to our baby deer. And get these... Uh, pallets in off the field because what the cows will do is they'll start getting itchy and they'll rub their head off them and when they start doing that they'll they'll burst the pallets and I don't want that you know what cows and livestock is like for scratching itself off stuff Oh, come on. That'll do. We have one more after this, and then that's us done for that part of it. I should probably wrap us up for our evening's work anyway. going on in here. Are you tripping, man? What the... F oh, for fuck's sake. Can I lift these? I can lift the what? I don't know what was going on there. I did not know I could lift these. I might have a mod installed to lift anything as well. Just might have, just to put your way to that. <laughs> but why was that thing tripping balls there? I don't even know. Anyway, back to our baby deer. And get the rest of these pulled in. <clears throat> well, I wanted one more, I think. Yeah, just a one more. Still, you'll never gauge this. Come on, Moo Moo, head up my way. Because if I can find a reference point on a pallet where the boom will line up with, so I know I'm under it, I'll do that. But obviously it's not a full pallet, so I can't do it straight away. We've got to go give him a quick muck out as well, so... Leave 
that there. And... Okay, well that's that tidied up. We gotta go back around. Yeah, we will go back around here, get our bucket, get my quick muck out, and then that should be us good to go there for the day. That'll be our evening's work done. It's late as well. It's nearly twelve o'clock. Better go clean out the actual other part as well. Just a bit where they eat, because I'm going to push the food back in, because I seem to get messy sometimes. And we got 32%, 460 litres of manure. Ah, the noise of that. Pure schlop. No. Now what have we got here? Bit under there, bit under that. Okay, right. We're gonna need a bigger. I don't suppose we'll probably move this with that tractor. It's a very big machine. We got full of TMR as well. It's close to it. Yeah, I got 10,000 litres of TMR on this thing. It's a heavy ass machine. I might just. Yeah, let me over. Oh, ball sack. Might just park it off over. Out of the way here. So lights for their shed, I wonder. There has to be lights for the shed. Somewhere. There's got to be interior lights. Well, there's lights on the roof. It's behind the door, I wonder. Nope. It's around here. Nope. These guys must have lights somewhere. Knock that off while I'm looking for this. It gets a bit loud. Ah! Brilliant to have lights. Simply lift it up and tip. And that's it. Might just leave this in here. Because why not? Leave that TMR outside. That is absolute nut. We're taking up space in here. Leave that closed. How are these guys doing? He's having a mug. What's he doing? Have a muck around there he is, yeah, okay. How are we doing for our stuff? I don't see how our cleanliness is so bad. I don't know where else they're dumping stuff. Straw seems to be pretty good. The food's cleaned up just there. Ah, oh, poor girl. My lovely girl, she's having a sleep. Right, I can't see anywhere they're um they're leaving a mess. What have I shifted that out of here? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Get my baby deer out again. 
and shift all that shit out of here. Because that's all it is. So if it's within the area of the cows, I think it might be... Wait now, what's that? That's okay. Yeah, if I shift all this crap out of here, I think we're good to go then. I think they, they might have a good clean area then. Oh, I land a thousand liters of muck. We go find a home for that back here somewhere. I don't seem to have a tipper trailer anywhere I can dispose of this stuff. I'm not leaving it in a silo. So just leave it here, couldn't I? Didn't go in under it at a later stage. Haha. <laughs> Leave this here as well. Right, guys. That should be it. I should be off. That guy's clean. He's in out of the way. That's in out of the way. All the gates are closed. That's not. Should be closed. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I'd love to put a gate here. I'll be able to leave all these open. Because the cows could probably come through here if they wanted. I don't know how realistic this is. If they would or not. But it is what it is. There's our milk wagon. I think we still have 54 litres of milk in that. I might, before I go to bed, put that in. That's a freaking gate then in the way. I'll, I'll lock the other one. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Beautiful interior on this. Very, 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 very well done mod. Oh, five liters. Sorry. This just ain't gonna work. I think I better just reverse it in the conventional way. The way I'm used to it, that thing's shitting itself. Fucking drawbars. Easiest way to do this is front ways. I've always noticed with these. Right, nearly a thousand liters of milk there. It's not bad either. That'll all go for sale at some point.
That's sweet. The animations, the mechanics of that is absolutely incredible. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today, I think. It's all safe, everything's good. Right, well that'll do me. That's enough work, that's been a long day already, doing everything else. So thanks very much for watching, and if you're not subscribed, please do so below. And if you already are, thank you for your continued support. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a new thing you're going to do. Farming Simulator is going to be a new thing you want to do. As most of you know, most of my videos are trucking, stuff like that. I don't do it anymore, so. Good water. But anyway, that's the story, guys. Thanks a million for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.